Thank you very much, Moni, and thank you very much for inviting for this session. Uh, I was married 25 years back in Delhi, so I come forth and back to India all the time and enjoy it very much being back here. Back in Copenhagen, I run a sustainability consultancy. We have focused since 1996 on business and human rights. And what I'm about to speak about is called human rights in CSR from fringe to core. So what has the travel been since we started in the, big, in the mid 90s for human rights? How has it developed into become the very core of corporate social responsibility? And I have listed here a list of names of corporations that we have helped throughout the years. We also work with governments and we work, work with the Ministry of Defense, for example. Can they use the same management principles that businesses are now developing and so forth? Now, what is corporate social responsibility? What do we mean by that? Should we throw out the name because we don't like it anymore? Or should we, shouldn't we instead define what corporate social responsibility is on a global scale so that we all agree what we talk about when we listen to the word corporate social responsibility. I can reveal for you that the Danish government do not even accept philanthropy as corporate social responsibility. So ph philanthropic initiatives are not recognized in the Danish society as part of corporate social responsibility. It's all about integrating respect and contributions to sustainable development into the core business model. And that's what we've been working on since 1996. We use this definition of corporate social responsibility. It's the same definition that the EU uses for corporate social responsibility. And it consists of some layers. We have the strategic layer, which is also termed as creating shared value. That's where we make a difference to sustainability. How can we contribute to sustainable development as a business? Then there's the compliance level, level that were only enacted in the EU since 2011. So it's not free of charge if you say that you are socially responsible. There's something you need to do. And the thing you need to do is to make sure that you do not have a negative impact, an adverse impact on sustainable development. All this is framed within sustainable development. How do we define sustainable development? Well, the UN has helped us do that. So we know that sustainability consists of the triple bottom line, social sustainability, environmental sustainability, and economic sustainability. So whenever we speak about sustainability, we should work with all three bottom lines. Now, this is then the model that we could develop in terms of developing a strategy or an approach to corporate social responsibility for any business. That's the compliance level. You need to have systems and processes in place to make sure you don't have adverse impacts on the international principles for sustainable development. And then you can do good, and there you can choose whatever you do, and you can do philanthropy, you can do other stuff, but be strategic about it. Link it to your core business and keep it all within the framework of the UN Global Compact principles. Those principles that we agreed globally on are necessary for the coming generations to survive on this planet, be it for social sustainability, environmental, or economic sustainability.